The Rebel Capitalist Show. Okay, so the the last thing that I, I want to get your opinion on um, is the central bank digital currency, because here's how I see things. And um, I see the system in the past where the commercial banks were almost exclusively responsible for the additional dollars being created through lending. Uh, I, I mean, we, I think we totally, totally agree. And mo- most of the people that we talk to on Twitter and our friends w- would agree with that in the macro space. Yep. And now I've seen us kind of, or in my mind, I see it as kind of this weird, like hybrid system where if we just left it up to the commercial banks, uh, like it, it was the system we had, there's no way M2 money supply would have gone up by 25% in 2020. Because bank lending, uh, it, a lot of the charts I've seen actually went down. So well, if bank lending goes down, so does the amount of dollars that are being created or there, the dollars on, on a, net total. There was total. a spike in commercial lending as they pulled But that PPP. Revolver. Yeah. So th- that, that, that did actually occur. Um, but I'm talking about after PPP. Right. The, the rest of the money came from us borrowing from foreign sources and putting effectively depositing in cu- customer accounts or stimulus. Okay. So, okay. So walk me through that one. Yeah. So, so when I look, so I have this really weird view, I see the world and I see all these dollars around the planet right. and what in, in the money supply, the M2 is just the U S commercial yeah, banking yeah, system, yeah. right? But we yeah. know there's dollars in credit unions and yeah. outside the world. So when everyone see this explosion in the money supply, they thought, oh, the, we are printing money. Uh, there were two key things that happened is uh, we had, well, uh, yeah, two key things that happened. One is you had major corporations pull their credit revolvers or their equity lines because, as Jeff Snyder will tell you, they got screwed in the financial crisis because they believed in the Fed. So this time they said, we'll just take all the money we can get and we, they just deposit in their accounts. And that spiked the money supply. The second place came from uh, PPP and stimulus, but mm-hmm. it wasn't borrowed. It was, it, I mean, it wasn't printed money. We borrowed it. And a lot of that money was borrowed from outside the U.S. system, from foreign central banks and from uh, foreign investors. And so that shows up into the M2 all of a sudden. And all of a sudden, everyone's like, oh, my God, we printed money. No, you just got to picture this global supply of dollars. And we just moved a disproportional amount from foreign sources into the U.S., possibly making the, the, the dollar shortage worse in the international market, which will could have major ramifications later. Right, which is you would ex, you would expect to see the dollar go up in that case. Yes, uh, on the Dixie. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and starting to, it's not there yet, but it. But what? Because there are foreign dollar denominated debts, and if there's not enough dollars for that, that's to what pay, I'm talking about. Right. I mean, it, like Brent it, talks about all the time. Obviously. Right. Dollar shortages can appear anywhere. It just depends on, again, the music's playing. Who, who, who's short? Well, we don't know until we start to see things break. Yeah. Yeah. Right. OK. So um, now what if we're moving into a system which I, I think there's it's, it's all a game of probabilities. Right. There's, there's never any certainties. We I always say that. But I think there's a, a good probability that the, the Fed realizes that they're really not in control of the dollar. And and now they're kind of held hostage by the commercial banking system, or let's just say other factors yeah. that they do not have total control over. So if dollars are created through the process of lending, the, if I'm the Fed, and if I could just wave a magic wand and say, okay, I wanna be in, in control of the amount of dollars in the system and the entire system, I'm going to set up a central bank digital currency. I'm going to ban cash. I want everyone in the real economy, entities and, and individuals to have an account with the Fed so that we can just go ahead and and the only thing we do have control over are bank reserves, you know, or the, the creation of bank reserves. And if we could somehow, like Dr. Lacey Hunt says, we can take those bank reserves and turn them into legal tender uh, because everyone has an account with the Fed or they can lend uh, they can create as much lending as they want. What I think of is the uh, Ministry of Finance in Japan uh, during the 1980s, yeah. right? How, how they basically kind of 
took a stranglehold of the commercial banking set uh, system, put a gun to their head and said, lend or you're going to lose your job. But in this case, the Fed would have control over that so they could lend to whatever degree they wanted to lend into the real economy to create those dollars and have more control over it. And I think that's why, in my mind, there's a, a higher probability, not 100 percent by any means, sure. but a higher probability that we see a central bank digital currency, especially if we go into another disinflationary mode, uh, that we see that central bank digital currency over the next maybe you know five, 10 years, something. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah I think there's some credence to that. I think the first, yeah, I mean, I mean, five to 10 years, certainly. I think the cash ban will be the next thing that comes. And that's not gonna be easy because as you know, there's a lot of unbanked people. But if, if people, if your viewers that are, if anyone's still listening and doesn't know what the term unbanked means, that means people that do not have a bank account of any form, they deal purely in cash. And I think the first step will be uh, what you said, like the Bank of Japan, which um, you probably have uh, heard Russell Napier's view is that what the, the first step will be the government will effectively force borrowing to occur. Because mm -hmm. I don't think the Fed and we hear Powell say, like, look, we really don't want to go down that path. And so I think that will be you know, the path that will be the thing that they do when nothing else works. But I think the forced lending bit. Oh, I think that'll happen. And when so you, how would they implement that, Steve? How? Give me an example of that. Yeah. Well, if, if you don't, if cash is eradicated and the government comes out and just says, look, like Bank of Japan did, you will borrow and we're going to force you to borrow or else we'll, we can penalize you. Well, we they force the banks to lend. Yeah. And then so just anyone with their hand up just just got a loan, just kind of, kind of like the GFC, you know, exactly. think of the housing, but the entire economy. Absolutely. And and that okay. will work for a while. I think that, okay. that could actually work because that will create, right? Because if, if rates are so low, you know, like, I mean, we'll, we'll look at the real estate place where, you know, something you're intimately familiar with. If I can go get a 1% loan and I come to you and say, George, can you go find me some property where I can make more money than, uh, than 1%, you know, than my cost of money? And you're just like, hell yeah, I can. Let's go, buddy. I'm gonna, let's, let's get in the car. Let's go shopping. Mm -hmm. And that creates inflation. So I think the first step will be to force lending, but you've got to get eradicate cash and they'll have a great excuse, right? Oh, only criminals use cash. So we're going right, to right, right. because the danger, right? The danger is not having a, accounts at the Fed. Uh, did you did you see what happened in China when they're trying to introduce their digital currency and they put a clock on it? Did yeah, right. That? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that, that that's what I think will happen with UBI. Yeah, I think you know, young people like, oh, I, I don't want cash. I want a digital currency. I want blockchain back stuff. I'm like, you do not want this. You think you do. You think it's yeah. cool. And when what China essentially did is they said, you can have, well, we're going to give you money. And right. it expires. Now, how would you like to log into your bank account tomorrow and find out, oh, tomorrow's the day that my account gets cut in half because that's the day of the month it gets cut in half. Yeah. Yeah. Velocity, yeah. Steve. Velocity. Oh, it'll create. I get it'll create velocity, <laughs> all right? <laughs> because you'll have no choice. Yeah, right. All right. So you think that's kind of the, the 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 steps they'll take to get there? Yeah. And, and I'm afraid, and I hope in your and my lifetime it doesn't occur. But, yeah. Uh, but uh -huh. if it does, the, the, the savings will will cease to exist because everyone will be on the government dole and they'll have expiring money. And if they think it sounds good, it'll be absolutely miserable. Yeah. And once that psychology shifts, then we get Gresham's law. And then you go from, you know, a, a disinflationary environment to the psychology moving and people just trying to, you know, just get rid of any type of currency they have for any type of hard asset uh, or, or buying more supply, right. uh, you know, if prices really start to go up, then people buy, you know, a year's worth of, um, you know, XYZ supplies uh, because they know in a month or two months or three months that the price will be higher and that exacerbates the problem. What was, so what I know Hot you're, potato, right? I don't want it. I'll take anything you got and you just take this from me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, it's, and, that, and that was Weimar Republic. Nobody wanted cash. They wanted goods and services and you couldn't get enough. And yeah, you get very high rates of inflation across the board and that the, the, they could, the Fed could work with that.